morning, May 5th. Um, someone asked me to mention that today was the National Day of Prayer. I looked that up, and, and it is. I guess it's recorded as being the National Day of Prayer, uh, which I believe this prayer should go to the Father, which is in heaven, um, Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. I feel it's very important to say that. Um, I didn't see anything where they gave any type of uh, direction of that prayer. Where, you know, that's who I pray to. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. <laughs> Which you can see what's coming down, down on this nation today. You know, because of the abomination that's in this nation. The uh, pervertedness, the homosexual lifestyles, as the days of Noah. You know, just as it's written, he said, the end days will be just as the days of Noah. And we've seen these people do nothing but mock God. Um, this is when we need to be humbling ourselves and asking for his soon return because... Uh, the evil that's upon us right now, and it's just getting worse faster. You know, and people are asking for more time here. What they're doing is they're trying to get more time for the devil. We need to pray that the Lord come soon, come now. Um, I know when Michael gets up, he's going to tear everything up coming across here. And he ain't going to care what's in his path either. And that's going to be the great earthquake everybody's going to be experiencing here very soon. <sighs> Excuse me. I'm looking forward to the end of this. This morning I read a, uh, uh, a passage where I just opened the book right up. I mean, opened it right up and it opened to... Uh, to 55. I mean, it really surprised me to see uh, Isaiah 55 that I opened right up to that. And uh, these are the days we're in. Most people aren't going to see what's coming because of uh, the worldliness. I opened it right up to it this morning. Yeah, I wasn't sure what I was going to look up. And the page opened right up to Isaiah 55. And it goes 55-7. Which it says, Let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts. And let him return unto the Lord, and he will have mercy upon him to our God, for he will abundantly pardon. These are the most crucial things, you know. If today's the National Day of Prayer. This is the prayer of all prayers right here we should be doing. Seek the Lord while, you may be, while he may be found, and call upon him while he is near. Then let the wicked forsake his ways. Let go, you know, let go of it because it's soon over. And the unrighteous man, his thoughts. You know, even the dreams, like I told you, you know, it's like you don't get any peace right now. See, there's a demon right now going around uh, trying to pervert people's minds, their thoughts, everything. Because it says, the Lord knows what's in the mind and in the heart of each and every one of us. He knows it. And, uh, I'm going to say something. They say today's the National Day of Prayer. But I've been telling you every day, you know, we need to let this stuff go. Let it go every day. We should be uh, seeking Him and uh, praying to Him. And, uh... For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are my ways your ways, says the Lord. We're at 
at that time, right now, people, this is the invitation, the great invitation to the wedding from Matthew 22. I mean, it goes, it makes sense. I kept seeing the numbers 555 five, five a lot and 222 two, two a lot, where Matthew's 222, or uh, Matthew's 22, it's the, the wedding. Then here, the great invitation, 55. Yeah. This is where um, people did not wake up. They didn't wake up. A lot of people are still asleep. And that's why we're about to see a great destruction come across this land right now. And this is going to be to wake up the, uh, I guess, the wise brides. Uh, excuse me. Haven't been uh, sleeping very good at all. You know, like I said, these dreams. I know they're demonic, man. It's just evil. We got evil stuff all around us. Evil spirits. They're everywhere around us right now. This is the time to uh, get yourself ready. Get right. You know? With that being said... You know, I'm sure a lot of you listening here are probably praying every day, all the time, anyhow. But, uh, I'm surprised that date was even in there, National Prayer Day. Because, I mean, you know they took them out of our schools. And the reason why they took them out of our schools is so they could do what they've done. Unleash the evil that's on the nations now. And, uh... The word of God is written because he knew that this day was coming. He knew it was coming. He knew this day was going to be on a, the whole world. You know, that's why it says in Revelations 3, You have not denied my name, therefore I will spare you the moment of trial that's about to come upon the whole world. You know, it doesn't mention anything about resurrection or in the moment or in the blink of the eye. It just tells you, because you have not denied my name, I will, I will give, uh, take and uh, spare you the moment of trial that's coming upon the whole world. And uh, that's another parable that's missed a lot. I hear people talking about a lot of stuff. But I don't hear him talking about that one. And I guess that's because uh, they don't want to talk about it, I guess. They just don't want anybody to hear it. But I mean, it's, it's plain and simple. Him that overcometh, I will make a pillar in the temple of my God. And he shall go no more out. And I will write upon him the name of my God. And the name of the city of my God, which is the new Jerusalem, which cometh down out of heaven from my God. And I will write upon him my new name. Ain't that something? This message was the church of Philadelphia. To the church of Philadelphia, Revelations 3. And it starts right out at 7. And then, you know, 8 it says, I know thy works. Behold, I have set before thee an open door, and no man can shut it, for thou hast little strength, and hast kept my word, and hast not denied my name. I will make, behold, I will make them of the Sinai of Satan, which say they are Jews, and are not, but do lie. Behold, I will make them come and worship before thy feet, and to know that I have loved thee, because thou hast kept the word of my patience. I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon the whole world, to try them that dwell upon the earth. <clears throat> Behold, I come quickly. Hold that fast which thou hast. That no man take thy crown. Him that overcometh will I make a pillar in the temple of my God. See? 
that's what's getting ready to happen right there. And I believe that's going to happen when we go to the wedding. I believe that's when we go to the wedding. That's when the wedding's going to happen. But at the same time, we're also going to see great destruction happening. We'll see great destruction happening. Okay, so everybody knows that. Today is a national day of prayer. And uh, this is the day um, we need to be focused on making sure what we're asking for through the Lord, for forgiveness for our iniquities, our sins. We've got to let go of this world while you still have the ability to do that. And then keep in mind, He knows what's in our mind and in our heart. You know, so when you're saying your prayers, um, we have to ask Him to help us overcome all these things, to remove these things, um, which He will do. You know, it's like uh, every day. That's why I say every day we should be doing this. You know, some of the dreams that I've been having, like even uh, like this morning, you know, I don't even think of these things. And uh, they just pop up, you know. Um, it's uh, sexual things. People in there playing pianos and stuff like that. You know, and, uh, but I wasn't involved in it. You know what I mean? Which I'm grateful for that. Um, but just even seeing it, you know, and then people wearing like tons of makeup like clowns, lots of makeup. This is the stuff that I've been seeing in my dreams. I'm sharing them here with you because uh, I don't know if you guys are having these weird things, you know, weird, strange dreams. They're not as bad as they were, you know, a few months ago. A few months ago, you'd wake up in the middle of it or even fighting crocodiles or something like that. You know what I mean? Where here, I'm just seeing it. You know, I'm just seeing it. It's like I'm seeing it in another room where people are doing this stuff. And uh, it's enough to make me roll over and get out of bed. You know, and wake up and just, you know, and I'm like, wow, you know, what is up with this? Because I don't think of this during the daytime. Um, I was watching the uh, a channel. It's called The Grotex One. And uh, he was saying, right now, there's uh, poison in the waters and stuff like that. We have to be very careful, be praying continuously to the Lord, because uh, the waters are going to be bitter to where people are going to be uh, violent, uh, a lot of bad things happening. And what it is, it's that demon that we have... Um, that's doing this, you know, he's got one goal, oh, it's not getting much rest, you know, I'm trying to stretch out, but it's like very hard, he's got one goal, and that's to uh, destroy everybody, take everybody to hell, and when Michael gets up, he's coming after him, and I guess that's when things are going to get tore up, you know, if I had a computer, I would upload that link, on my uh, phone, but I don't have one. Um, it just came out yesterday and today, the fourth and the fifth, the uh, Grotex. It's called the G R O X T one, the number one. Okay, and then uh, see what he put out today and uh, yesterday, where you'll see where he's even saying, you know, the signs are in the earth. Architects, they built roads and everything, and uh, the picture's there. You can clearly see it, uh, where these demons are coming out. And uh, even where that 11-year-old girl was raped and murdered in uh, um, Shiprock, New Mexico, on the Navajo Indian Reservation. Um, I used to go out there when I was younger. Um, a friend of mine, he was a Navajo Indian. Um, see, they do a lot of sand paintings out there. You know, they're sand paintings. It's where they worship different things. You know, and a lot of people got these things hanging up in their homes. Um, you know, these sand paintings, these voodoo dolls or whatever. 
Um, I never did buy them. I never did care for them because, number one, they don't glorify our Lord in heaven. Um, we have so many false things going on here. And I, I believe that's the reason why this land was taken over so quickly um, by you know, us here. And uh, even though all this stuff was set up from the very beginning, even from the devil, the devil's had this planned all the time. And that's what he does. He moves around using us like his puppets, you know, our worldly desires. You know, it moves people. You know, look at what everybody's done throughout history for everything that they've ever got. You know, that's why I said this life is but a testament. Oh, boy. Hardly sleeping, man. Hardly sleeping. But I felt it was important to say that this, this life is but a testament. Okay? It's a testament to uh, what we hold value, what's in our minds and our hearts. You know? That's why I say when we pray today, you ever hear that saying, be careful what you ask for? This is the time to uh, consider the things that we pray for. I pray for that his coming comes soon. You know, that he protects my mind and my heart from all these things, the evil that's on this world today. You know, because I want to be found worthy to escape these things that are about to befall the whole world. And that's when we go to the wedding, my friends. When we escape these things. That's a, you know, that's what I pray for. I don't have no place to really set my phone. That's why it's just barely sitting on a little ledge there. But, uh, that's what I pray for, you know, to just escape these things that are about to happen, you know. With that being said, God bless you, and, uh, remember, man, this is the time when we gotta be, uh, strong, because he's gonna come at us even harder, you know. The closer the Lord's coming to get us, the harder and faster he's gonna be coming after us. You know, remember what I said I had a dream as we were getting ready to go? They're trying to stop us. They don't want us to go. They don't want us to go. He wants to damn everybody here. Everybody. Okay? So God bless you. Be strong. And uh, pray that you be found with the Holy Spirit. And remember, do not deny the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Anytime you have the opportunity to bring up our name of our Lord Jesus Christ, it's a gift, it's an opportunity that you don't want to miss. Remember what Revelation 3 says, you did not deny my name. And there's so many people going to work every day that will not bring up his name, of Jesus Christ. Will not say it, but they'll sit there and talk to their friends about these politicians. Don't deny his name. Don't do it. I wouldn't even give the, any honor to these politicians. Not one of them. God bless you.